with serve receive passing carry, the focus is on your hand position and receiving that serve coming at you full speed. What are we doing with our hands in preparation for the serve? Show me how to do it. Let's go. All right. Carrie, how important are your hands in preparation to pass a serve? My hands are hugely important for serve receiving. My hands are ready as a team right in front of me, and I'm going to shoot them out wherever the ball is going. Hands as a team, it's all about efficiency of movement. I don't want to bring out here. I want to keep it nice and condensed, ready to move. And uh, how long do you keep those hands together during the contact? Good question. I also, I, after I push my hands out here, I want to lift the ball and hold my hands very firm so I can get a good trajectory on the ball so Misty can set me the ball. So it's finishing that contact all the way to the point where you want her, your set. Exactly. As in, in indoor, they say freeze until it gets the target. It's kind of the same thing here on the beach. And do you come apart when the ball hits your hands? No. On the tough driven balls, the longer and the harder you press your hands together, the better the pass will be. Okay. Let's see it. Very good. See, my hands are go. a team, and they shoot out to the ball. Now, when your hands come together, what are they doing on the contact? I think the most common way to present your hands, one hand out, overlap it, and your thumbs straight together. The hands are not as important as your platform here. You want a flat, stable surface here to make sure it goes where you want it to. One more time. Well, I like the way your hands are ready but not totally committed in the beginning so that you can put them right behind the ball and press your fingers together. Let's These see serves it. are coming fast, so I got to be ready to go anywhere. Ready? That was very good. One more time. So hands as a team, perfect platform, and freeze to where you want the ball to go.